much more easy to set up. Yeah. Like, why did they go out of the box? I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, it's five Grim, four Tusk. And it's not even like the, the mid lane matchup would have been fine. If you can't beat them fair way. Prepare for battle! Oops. Can you hear us? Alright. Yeah, I mean if you can beat them in a fair play, you have to try to something different. I, I think this is different. Still gonna go with DNC. I think uh, this draft is a bit too wonky. Reminds me of some of the drafts from Boom starting uh, season one. Yeah. Uh, just having those kind of vibes, not really liking it. Yeah, sure. Thank you, thank you very much. Gonna give a pretty good explanation, but you know, I'll hold off for another game. I'm just too smart to have to give these explanations. I won't go against the crowd. I'm, I'm more of a follower anyway than a leader. Right. I'll, I'll lead you follow. Okay. We're going to your desk? No, no, just stay away from me. It's all good. We, we don't have to be that close. For the bat, I'm just uh, annoying them with a mini rabbit. So Snapfire will be played on a mid lane, Sam H bottom. Uh, seems like they're just doing an aggressive tri lane. This, if they keep this tri lane, it's strong. Anything with the Tusk feels strong. Like you just need to have three heroes. You you don't even have to use the abilities. Just have a tag team and right click them down, pretty much. <laughs> But do you want to, like, keep this? Because Bounty Hunter, like, yeah, you will get XP. I can try to understand what they're doing, where they're just going to, like, sacrifice some of Bounty's farm, possibly, for levels, where you get that track level online. And uh, it's just going to be a uh, free farm for, for Bok on the bottom. Yeah, with Tim's, like, it, it just seems like a combo that's going to start to destroy, given this open lane for them. Sam H will do what he can to try and get something from it. But, I mean, they're heavily relying on, on track. Being here with them, like, I, I just... Or being available Ryan with breezing. them early. Is that enough to make up the goal difference that might come from this? It's a possibility. Like, I think that it could potentially work. You know, you like it's, some of these lineups with Bounty Hunter could easily just snowball, get out of control. You join one team fight, you get like four track kills. Uh, mid lane, you have Bristleback against the Snapfire. Like Snapfire is going to have a good time. Bristleback uh, has four armor, but like Snapfire just takes a lot of that armor. It's uh, minus six coming on from the little shredder and it's being maxed out. Like this is the new build on Snapfire, whether it's in position five, position four, even on the mid Snapfire, it got buffs. Level four, it's fixed 95 damage, uh, six fixed attacks. So that's almost 600 damage. And with the minus armor, it's even more. I'll have to see what Snapfire can get done with that cool Snapfire set. We'll see if it can accomplish it's what it's looking for. Cool looking for. A lot of fire coming out of those rockets with Little Shredder. A 
Although, speaking of cosmetics, for a second I thought the clockwork bottom was bristle back with so many things coming out of his back. He's got a lot of spikes. Glance value. Yeah. Put my glass. No! Sam H sitting level three. Going high into that Janata. Do you think he takes a casual level in uh, Shadow Walk, or is he just gonna hold off on that for now? Yeah, potentially. I, I think so. On level four, you can take the invis, force them to buy sentries or dust, like if they decide to go on you. You can see Tim's already having one dust, stacking neutral. We can't put it. Right. I'm gonna pick up the bounty possibly. Oh, or no, he's gonna leave it to Armel. Like mid lane just feels really weird right now, where like no one is dying, everyone's just full That's HP, full me. mana, just pushing out the waves because of the new runes. Top is trialing. Hasn't gotten a kill just yet. Usually you expect a little bit more aggression, especially with a tusk. And trying to go on to this green stroke snowball brings right on top. Some lockdown here onto Gabby. Chido coming in, stifling dagger thrown over at Boomy, but with the rotation of Tim's, Gabby's gonna be fine. I might even try to turn this around. Whoa. Still trying to get CML. Oh, get the kill there. Gabby gets first blood. Hex out onto the Phantom Assassin. The heal is on. Salve is not enough. Yes, stifling dagger, snowball in. Gabby ends up dead, and now Shanks and Tino go the other way. Look over at Boomy, who does have another Earth Spike available. One more right click gets the kill, but that leaves Tino by himself for some soul experience. So silver lining's there for Omega. And still trying to kill off Tims, who does have a tether. I doubt Tino gets this kill. While all this is happening, like they also managed to make some stacks going on in their own jungle. Mid lane, Armel, like it's so much minus arm. Like going into this medallion is also very good. You know, little Shredder already level three. There's so much kill potential. Once you hit that level six, whether on a mid lane or if you decide to rotate on one of the side lanes, Mortimer's Kiss is like one of the best abilities in the game, in my opinion. Like once you hit that level six. Mortimer's kisses. Who doesn't like a kiss from their grandmother? On the on the cheek, you know? She wishes you a good happy birthday, and that's probably the only time yeah, she then, you know, gives you 20 bucks yeah. while no it like like a handshake, you know, so that no one sees it. You know, the, Don't the tell class, your mother. Yeah, yeah, the classic grandma move. <laughs> ben, where'd you get that twenty dollars? Uh what twenty dollars? Yeah. What do you mean? My grandparents used to always tell me no, to not tell my parents. That's why you need to spend the money, like, straight away, so that the mom can't find the money. You can find the games place. instantly. The way the uh, vending machine works, I actually have that for Steam on my computer, so I just slip in the $20. Mortimer's Kiss is over. Made Armel taking a lot of damage. One more shot from Mac to get the kill. this Rotation coming in from Shanks. Thank you very much. This leaves Bounty open just to try and get level 6. He's close, but he's getting chased. Battery Assault goes invis, but not out of sight. Pop gets the kill on a Sam H, who is just a fraction of the way away from getting that level 6. Dyer's middle tower is under attack! If he's level 6 there and dies, he's fine with that and could potentially like make a rotation on the other lane. There's a lot of creeps on the bottom, so he'll probably just go back to the bottom. Tino low, Snowball coming in, CML's here. Gabby might be in some trouble. No hook shot, the wing still goes attack. off. Gabby gets killed, they've got the Hex coming through out of the top. Shanks trying to run. Oh, Great nice. shards. Nicely done there by Shanks. They survive, well, most importantly, they survive on Phantom Assassin. That's what matters. Tim's taking a lot of damage. Like, uh, she's super underleveled. She's level four and a half, but there's a huge creep wave coming on the top, top, bottom lane. Yeah. He's dead. Chasing through the tower, tether. Come on. All the way through. Sam H just Come can't on. catch up. He's got a Janata and a Shuriken toss, but it's not going to be enough. And Gabby makes the rotation. Just about half the duration left. Gabby's got a blink in a second. They won't catch up to Sam H. He dove pretty deep. Uh, dove pretty deep. 
Charlie Phantoms embrace as well as the snowball out on to Boomy. Another kill there for Mac. This snap fire a lot of self to face off is looking real strong right now. Already has that medallion going into the maelstrom. Boots of travel afterwards. It's just so much damage coming up from that hero. Hook shot. CML. And he's going to find himself dead. They've got a snowball coming through. And I believe the Warmer's Kisses was started for a second. Getting the kill on a Mac. They'll turn this around. They'll look for more. The tracks are out. But Shanks, he's dead. Tracks on it too. But the Mechel doesn't turn into reality unless you get the kill. Radiant structures are they need to bring numbers. Like they need to be by Dimensions. Dismounting on their tracks. So is what's War has keep come to Radiant's the bottom have tower. No real steroid for Phantom Assassin. Potentially Ink Swall, which is okay. Like Snapfire can build into Solar Crest, which is great to, you know, just reducing the armor on the enemies. Or you can put it on Phantom Assassin, but um, yeah, there's no like alacrity, no empower in this game. Ooh, CML spotted Gabby. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack! It just gets under the tower, so Holy Gabby moly, that damage on a mid. Like, Bristleback's full HP goes down to oh, 300 so. just from one level shredder. So, a lot of damage. And with any sort of follow up, under back, attack. you just get an easy kill. What's up that Maelstrom? Again, there it is. Come down to half health. Minus 11 armor. They're going to go for the snowball. Mac, he doesn't have one of his kisses, but I don't think that's going to matter. Mel is dead, and Sam H gets credit for it. Hookshot comes through. They've got the tether as well as the duck. They'll look after Sam H, and they'll get this kill. The turnaround is there for TNC. Radiant's at least bottom tower is under attack. Way. Bristleback is tanky, but against Mortimer, like, you're, you're not that tanky. Against the little shredder, the medallion, the armor is not that high. Low. You have that armor, it goes, uh, it drops lower, you know, it drops down to minus 11, I believe. Let me just do the math real quick. So that's six, you know, and the medallion, it's uh, minus five. It's a correct one. I was like, maybe it's 10, maybe it's 11. Better check it out, because the chat will laugh at me. They'll, they'll laugh anyway, but big stack for TNC. They're going to clear the Ancients. Bristleback is there, ready to clean it up with the close spray. A lot of gold's going to be coming his way, and he's already sitting top of the net worth. Armel, despite the fact that he died twice, has really farmed up quite well. Armel, Vanguard, Phase Boots, 6k on the net worth. Dyer's top tower! Yeah, so the other day I'm like, attack. I'm so smart, you know, I'm, I'm, I thought of something really good in Dota, like Lil Shredder plus Tag Team. Much I'm like, like ah, I want to play this lane. It doesn't work. I think it's used to. Sam H trying to survive. Morpher's kiss is bringing him down. They've got the soul bind as well to get the walrus punch out in a box. Shanks. Yeah, look at the kill. Spot, man. Looking over at Armel. He's trying to stay at the but the minus armor might just be too much. They've got Shanks right in front of him. They're trying to relocate him away. And they do. Oh, he just survives. Tino. Going to throw him down to Armel. And now they're looking to get the snowball out on Armel. Get him down. But he's still not dead. Shanks and Mac for Armel. That was such a godly play, you know, that relocate back, but you can feel the damage coming out from this Snapfire. Like, Snapfire is the future. From position 4, from position 5, like, just the amount of damage that you deal with the little shredder, it's insane. It's so much damage. Bristleback will need some kind of armor. Like, he, yeah. uh, like Solar Crest here is uh, completely fine. He's going into the Eternal Shroud, which is pretty standard, and then going Lotus Orb. Lotus Orb is also okay. Just anything that gives you armor, a casual plate mail is uh, really good and uh, great against the Snowball, against Grimstroke spells, remove the track. This is anybody but the Bristle, I think he dies. Well, Shredder was doing a lot of damage. Hook shot in on the two Dragon battery, so the Rocket Flare. Damage done onto the Toss. Actually deserves that. Run. Run. I have two great heroes against Bristleback, where tag team, like, it just destroys. Like, you might think you're tanky, but are you tanky enough to tank the t tag team from the whole team? Probably not. You know, even Timbersaws sometimes struggle when they're playing against the Tusk.
where you just don't expect that kind of damage. They bring three heroes with the tag team, it's just too much, no matter how tanky you are. Yeah, a tag team, since the beginning, has always been a strong spell. And just going back, to, I, I'm almost certain that that Will Shredder worked with tag team at, at the beginning when Snapfire first came out. And it was like a it disgusting doesn't amount work. of damage. It doesn't work it anymore. It does not work, unfortunately. Could you imagine, though? The damage would just be that much more. Bring it back, Ice Frog. Snapfire one position. That's what we need to see. Lane with a five position toss. To the tally. Tito, not getting a lot at the moment. Really trying to get that Battle Fury, but it seems like he's lacking. I think they were hoping to get more really for the track. Battle Fury. Like, yeah. he died only once. Into Orb of Corrosion. That's a thousand gold item. Oh, 925. I'll have to round up the numbers. So, yeah, if you didn't get too much out of it in the laning stage, like if you didn't get the kills, your Battle Fury will be delayed. It's not just that, it's also like a fairy fire, full magic wand, all these small items. The reason why we see carries just getting most of the time like brown boots into Battle Fury. I spend that extra gold. And Mac? Really just trying to deter Arnel, but he was pretty strong right now. Now he's got himself finger and armor. Hook shot in. Finger used as well. Ink slow coming out right on top of Sam H. They're gonna try and turn this out of the clock with the interfusion through the roof. Gabby's there, but the soul line used on both these heroes. They're trying to chase CML. The Phantom Brace is there. They ended up trading one for one so far, but it looks like CML will die too. Tito, I believe, was spotted going into the trees. Crits and well, he's nice in place, but Tino's in there. Look at the kill on a box. These kills that they're getting on Omega aren't track kills. Exactly, like they're just the getting spread. kills. That's what you want to do with the Bristleback. Uh, with the, um, sorry, Down Counter Bristleback now bought that plate mail, so not gonna be that easy to burst. Like, Phantom Assassin is struggling. They they need to give her, you know, some track kills. This will be like 15, 15 plus minute Battle Fury. It's gonna be a late one. I wanna almost say it's gonna be delivered around the 16 minute mark, yeah. Very rough for this Phantom Assassin. And for TNC, I mean, they're happy that Kelsey had just so much farming and again going after stats, just boosting that net worth up. Continuing to clean up on these stacks, and it's about just, you know, they're on 9k. So things for TNC is weeding out to 3k. Younger already! Omega really reliant or trying to be reliant on this track. They just have not been able to Middle utilize Tower it the way that they want. Attack. Finally, we have a track on a box. Thanks. He spotted. Hookshot comes in. That's around onto the top. Tower has no coming oh, over. No no this is in. This is in. going to be a tower. They get the kill on a box, the loose shakes, they've got the soul bind on to this line as well as the repeat of Gabby. Gabby's gonna blink forward, look after Sam H, and again, they just can't utilize this bounty hunter. Do you get the kill there on the Boomy? Fire Snap Cookie, not gonna land on the Tims, he'll tether back. They've got the track on Armel and Gabby, who might be looking to continue forward on this. Gabby blinks in, but not CML close in enough trouble. to Mac just yet. CML will try to TP out. No way to stop the TP. Comes in, CMO TP to the tier two tower. So he gets hit by that sonic wave, and that puts him in a lot of trouble. Oh, the blink away from Gabby, the blink on from Tino, and they Tino will get that kill. Armel's gonna chase now on the Phantom Assassin. We've got a clockwork coming in who's got hookshot available in just six seconds. Yeah, this they should can find the Phantom Assassin. Reveal the high ground ward. Yeah, Kumi instantly drops oh, down. Damage. Dusty, and well, he can be killed once. Finger. A little advice. Stay Unfortunately dead. for TNC, Queen of Fame dies there. Uh, Phantom Assassin gets the kill. So this will be her battle fury. She's also level 12. There is some minus armor coming out, you know. From Snapfire, Little Shredder, Medallion. Here. So Phantom 
random assassin right clicks are gonna be very powerful. Shock relocate coming through underneath. Fire snap easy to get out of the cogs. Shank's trying to run. Here comes right now. Here comes Gabby. Gabby's got that orchid, so the silence is out on the snap fire. They don't go over Shanks. He's popped the tank keeper with the tether on the RML. He's got the damage to get the kill on the back. They're gonna look over at Shanks. He's into the trees, out of sight for now, but they're gonna chase him like Freddy Krueger. They're gonna find him. Shanks, the soul bite is there, but it's not going to be followed up by much of anything. The stroke of pain comes in from CML, but it's really not much of a deterrent. Sam H just eyeing them. Is, there's really nothing he can do. Silence comes out onto Tino. Oh, Tino trying to run and while that's happening, we got an ink swell onto this CML group stroke. He gets him up on a bike. So he just escapes. Phantom, went, the Phantom Assassin doesn't die. But still, Omega aren't doing anything. Like, yeah, yeah, she, she's uh, not dying, but she's also not farming. Like, look at the aggression coming out from TNC. She has nowhere to farm. Like, one way to get out is either to use a smoke or use blur to get out of the base and uh, to find the right place to farm. Tower Here, has tower on. Like, they could potentially just, like, force a fight inside the pit with their lineup because they have minus armor coming up from the Bristleback. He can't think in the sustain from Io. Queen of Pain has that Orchid, as you mentioned, and uh, wants to get casual plate mail. Understands that most of the damage coming up from the team is actually physical. Like, just wants to protect herself Money against Phantom James. Assassin, against Lil Shredder. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Hoping to protect himself against Lil Shredder and Phantom Assassin, and so far it seems like it's working. Radiant's top tower has fallen! That was Queen a Pain, Armel he is going to the AC. Fall. He's sitting at 12k now worth at the top by quite a bit. By 4k over Mac. Got the scan on Tino, so they know exactly where he is. Got the silence, oh, they no, have Sam they H found him. up. And it's just going to get out of this. Earth Spike throwing Radiant's forward, not going to let them in. If they have the shark, they'll get the kill on a booty side. Three, three. three, they'll get the kill on a Tino. The hook shot comes through on a Mac, and they've got themselves the dump. That's going to do up Sam H. He's trying to TP out the soul mine on the booty pain, as well as the Brussel back. CML TPing out has just been in slain. time. Dyer's it like the story of this game for Omega attack. was just TP out, kill Lion. They have no stuns then, we can just TP out. They get the big kill. You know, they trade position 5 for Phantom Assassin, which is a big deal. Like, Phantom Assassin is just falling off. There's a big, big difference. What Like, Bristleback is position 1 here, you know, even though he played the mid lane. Right. 4,000 more net worth than Phantom Assassin. War has come to Radiant's bottom tower. It's so much more gold. Okay. I, I see how they Radiant's come back into this game. Is like, under this is something attack. that I talk about. It happens. Like, I see four four staffs possibly being built by Omega. Like, this is one of those Eastern eggs where you just, you know don't know about it but you're like man why why did the game just end because they bought four four staffs we've only seen it one other time that was last season bounty has one snapfire has one tusk getting one after the blink dagger and the uh, so is grimstroke so do they all fuse into one four staff one giant four staff i don't know what happens after like uh tnc they will go inside the pit Though, so this will be in the hands of TNC. I think you give it to Phantom Pain because this guy seems a bit too uh, At the moment, like he was struggling between like 7 and 15 minute mark until he got that plate mail. There was so much damage. But with the hood, with the Vanguard, now a casual plate mail on top of the Lotus Orb. Like he, he's just cruising, you know. 20, 33 armor actually. Mac is in trouble. Getting chased, not killed. They'll Back get a courier, a tier for for the courier. Also, one of the hidden seats for this is also uh, Radiant 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 Omega can kill second Roche, and then Max gets the cheese. Uh, the Mac and cheese combination <laughs> is too powerful. They do love me some craft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> So yeah, back to the game. Uh, Philosopher's... I just saw someone with the Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone is like one of those items where like you you want to have it on your position 4s, on your position 5s. It's so much gold. It's 80 gold per minute. Seems like a decent chunk. 
Grimstroke is holding one. We'll have his four step. I believe that's gonna be third four step. They just wanna push people up, but they understand they have as much. Not is under attack. A lot of damage on the Tims, but when you do it to Armel, it doesn't feel like nearly as much. They've got the hands on the same age, but follow up with the air strike the finger. They should have yet another kill on Sam H. The four staff not enough. That's why you need four. Four staffs. Oh, Sean misses. Again. Oh, Gabby is too far. Gabby is to work with. Lotus over off the there's the soul mind they'll pop the ages they're gonna look for the Mortimer's kisses down onto the side of TNC but Mac being back to the base next to the tier three it just hit me as I said four steps you just got it. Well, you know, you're a <laughs> you very see, special you said young this man B cop like I said it like seven times already but, but okay so yeah, this is gonna be a full oh, AC so on Bristleback. That's gonna tank up the whole team quite a lot. Increases damage as well, like the minus armor. Radiance with bottom the tower is under They're just giving up on the towers. Yeah, I'm really protecting these outer towers at all. And TNC. Bottom no, tower just, they're still gonna fallen. put the pressure on. They could be worse, or could it? Bottom, so Boy, there's gonna be forced to react. Trash comes down onto this bristle. Let's see if they can do anything with that. Well, try and move Sam H up. He's a little bit scared about moving in onto TNC. They don't necessarily need to go in and try to end the game. You could potentially just choke them out, get the second Roche. Like you get Shard, you get Cheese, you get Aegis. Second Roche is just uh, too valuable. You know, Roche does have six slots. Do you think we're ever going to find ourselves in a place in Dota where he's just six slotted? Yeah. Well, let's kill this big boy. Yeah. You know, get all the upgrades. You get Moon Shard, the... Ag's Blessing, Shard, Cheese, Aegis, Divine Rapier. <laughs> Divine Rapier has a fifth or... No, uh, That's for me. Dota, like... So much of it. I did like watch any of the old replays or the wads, let's say from TI3, TI4. You're like, wait, what is this? Like, what was going on back then? <laughs> Those old replays are so weird to watch. It's how different Dota was back then. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dead once more. They're continuing to kill off Trimshark sure pretty easily. Axe observes carnage underway. I can't really at survive Radiance much at all. Tower. Trying to go for that shard still, but it is getting slowed down time and time again. And Radiance top every time tower that has Omega fallen. Kind of left Your the base, edge needs sharpening. Yeah, just don't leave the base. I mean, it, it's hard for them, you know. They have a good pickup potential. Clockwork can set things up with the hook shot, relocate. Arcino Pain's very mobile hero as well. Could be there in the two blinks. So they're just probably gonna wait for the second row. Find Bounty Hunter again, and they've got the damage. Hey. Sam H dead, Sonic Wave used, Gabby with another one. They just... They left the base. That was the problem. Are you okay? All right. Back to base. Incoming! Like, even Io's gonna have a full Solar Crest and 100 gold. Uh, he's he's fine. Okay, lead and Omega. It just feels like so much more for them to really... Kind of the same feeling from the previous yeah. game, where TNC is like in full control, it's just the numbers don't add up. It feels like it's so much more again. Phantom Assassin, Battle Fury done, BKB done. And she's got that shard. So you, like you can shot? break the bristle back, bristle break, whatever you want to call them. It's, um, it's a good one. You know, it also deals uh, percentage based damage with max HP, 16%. Question becomes will it be enough to turn around this game, the Fan of Knives? Fan of 
enough control for them to get anything from this. They already got the kill on the shank. Those over the air spike hits on to Sammy. Boobie trying to survive, and Stroke Bay comes in from the amount of kills on a Boobie. Gabby looking forward looking over at Tino, who just escapes the hands of Gabby. Goes Again? over to Mac. Radiant's DP bottom out. tower is under attack. Yeah, I believe they. Oh, they found Sammy. Silence. And I believe the trap is coming on him from the low sword. More than they can chew. Mac comes in. And... Well, this break mechanic actually doing so much work. Minus armor from Lil Shredder, the Solar Crest. Like, they should have tried to go for the high ground. Next Roche may respawn in a minute. Bristleback, he's going for the Aghanim Scepter. Viscous Nasal Goo becomes uh, AoE. And you don't have to click it, and also stack limit is 8. Like, you can uh, also give him the second shard. Queen of Pain shard is uh, okay-ish. I have only rated 3 out of 5, but the Bristleback one is a top tier. Hairball, especially, like, if you get a couple of stacks already, right. then you release it and you're like, ow, that's a triple kill. I do want to see the shard for the Queen of Pain at some point. Maybe give the shard over to uh, the clock? Oh yeah, before the memes, you know, let my boy Jeff have Hacks an ability to fly. I feel like Jetpack's really legit. Especially when you're going high ground. Especially with ads, dude. Like, you can have two jets. You can refresh the cooldown. True. Never run out of fuel. I'm just wondering, like, if the interaction is while you're flying, like, you get stunned from overclocking, and then you're stuck in the air. Like, they they need some missiles to bring you down. They can't reach you. <laughs> Wait, how do missiles bring you down? <laughs> how are you gonna do, bring him down with a sword while he's flying with a jetpack? I don't know. You get a road back down to Earth. Tims, but the final way to go Tims and Boomy, it's a double kill there for Sammy. Thanks, Mac. No fall, two gone, have buyback. Gabby going after Tino. Tino trying to TP out, he's well on him. And they get CML. So three dead on Omega. Push back up in a minute 37. It's a fight that looked okay for Omega. They got the first two kills in that exchange. And they lost two supports, two buybacks from both supports on Omega. But you can see it once again, they don't have enough blocks now. Melting on it, that is something that comes through. Gabby caught, Gabby killed! You got a snowball, but I believe that was reflected off the Lotus Orb. Getting the kill on the shanks, the look over at Tino, he's starting to jump away. He gets to see the scene, Armel and himself. He's one big shot hits, and he is behind the throne! Enough so who can get the kill on the Tino. Sam H on the run, but here comes the viscous nasal goo. He's got four of them. He's throwing it on you. Yeah, the yeah, this should be the fifth as well. Like Armel and just the big boss. Right? Like they can bring him down with the low shredder, with the stack team and the brain. Like he's super tanky. Like they use everything on him. He could potentially die, but it's a bit problematic right now. He has that paladin sword. Paladin sword also provides like spell life steal, so. Also a big deal for Bristleback, and now having the Aghanim set of the AoE on moving 550. Everyone else is super slowed down. <laughs> Cheap up with everybody. The world is sort of a big saver for this person. It was a good pickup, sure. Roche will respawn in five seconds. Like this goes down so quickly, especially with the double damage that Tide Frog has given them. It's been perfect time. Like, they actually go inside a bit as Roshan Beach. This is Nasal Goo going out on Roshi. Four stacks there. Solar Crest on him, too. Relatively quick Roche. I say Roche, but he's a very good Roshan was a worthy shard for the Bristles, so now he's got that hairball. Bot coming your way from this person. Goo, hair, quills. He's like, you want some of this, son? You want it? <laughs> <laughs> now, Bristleback voice lines are the greatest. Do you have any others that you can give me? You want some of this, mate? You want it? <laughs> Radiant's top tower is under attack! Well, 
top. So they they lose a the fight. To, they pretty much lose the game. You know, is trying to finish off his death. So like he needs to invest the gold into this death. So he needs the item to actually deal the damage. There's no point in saying no high back at this point. For the radiant. Yeah. Radiant's top barracks have fallen. Think of the top set of racks. They'll look over me. One more Barrett's shot on fallen. that. We're gonna go bottom Radiant's look for Megas. Is under attack. See if they can clean it all up. Dyer's bottom tower yeah. is under attack. Yeah, Someone can make a comeback against Megas. All right, they got one. They got one. Hook shot in. You don't get blocked down. Be a fan of this fight. They've gotten the kill on a three already as they lose Shanks and CML. They look over at Tim's with right quick oh, damage. Coming up from Tino. It's just not going to be enough. They've got the Sonic Wave coming through back at Tino. Drop. She's combination won't happen and GG will be caught. So, you can see. Dying takes the day.